All right. Oh, you got it? Psalms 28 and 4. Give them. Hey, start, okay. start from the top. The three again? Yeah, because it's a. Uh, Psalms 28 and 3. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Right, your next door neighbor is a no good piece of shit. I can guarantee you, your no next door neighbor is a piece of shit, okay? If he ain't talking about this Bible, he's a piece of shit, okay? A piece of fucking dog shit, okay? A filthy piece of trash. Go Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness. Why you say according to their deeds? What is America? Why, why we talk in the lab, before that camera shut off? We was talking about Guantanamo, where the government. They snatch people up from all around the world, even American citizens. They take them down to Guantanamo and torture them. They fucking torture them. NDAA. It, the NDAA. They get, the government has the right to lock you up. And they pass that in secret. They pass the <laughs> NDAA in secret on New Year's Eve while you motherfuckers were stupid and drunk out your mind. Man, you know, it, they, didn't even, they didn't even have to do it. They could have done it in... On a regular work day, y'all still wouldn't have noticed. They could have signed it. They could have, y'all are so goddamn stupid. They could have signed the NDAA out in the middle of the goddamn street with depressing news everywhere. Y'all still wouldn't even notice, man. That's how fucking stupid you people are. I wrote some shit down from the. That's what I gotta come down to. They ain't gonna believe the devil worshippers and shit is running until they actually have. A child sacrifice right in public, right downtown. And then they're like, oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, these people are fucking gone, man. I just can't get over how stupid people are. Excuse me, do you know that Americans are the dumbest people on the planet Earth? Americans are the stupidest, most retarded, most vile, most filthy people on the planet Earth. There's a goddamn so-called American. Yeah, this is some shit they got to look forward to. Some executive orders that's been um, that's in law right now. Uh, uh, executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over the modes of the transportation and uh, control of highways. Um, 10995 sees and control communication and media. You hold that sign for a second. 10997 take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuel, and minerals. Um, Executive Order 10998, take over food resources and farms. Executive Order 1100, 11,000. 11, oh, hold up. Those are my old ass exit. This was old. Yeah. That, those were actually made by President Kennedy, everybody's favorite president. He's a goddamn devil, too. Um, mobilize civilians. Mobilize civilians. That means the government has executive orders to mobilize civilians. That's a euphemism. Or another way to say, we're going to put your ass in slavery and we're going to force you to work. And that's what you call forced labor camps, internment camps, FEMA camps. Okay, no, right. it's not a conspiracy, it's an executive <laughs> order. That's right. Into work brigades under government supervision. Under government supervision. Read that again, bro. Under work brigades. Executive order. So I read 11, these years ago. Zero, zero, zero. Mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Right. They ain't gonna have goddamn concentration camps, man. It happened before, the, back when America was first started. It was goddamn slave plantations all through the country. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And then during World War II, they was locking Japanese up in a concentration camp. And it just came out in the news the other day. Wasn't that Leon Panetta, the Supreme Court judge? said that the, the uh, internment camps are coming back. He actually, the Supreme Court judge actually said motherfucking concentration camps in America will make a comeback. He actually said this himself. He said, he said this, you're a fool to think that it's not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He said, you're a fool. He's a fool. Here you go, executive order um, 11001 allows government to take over all health education. They already did that, took over the health of Obamacare. And welfare functions. Welfare functions. Well, we live in a welfare state. They barely give you enough money to live on. I don't know how these people survive on welfare. They don't give you shit. These bitches do. You know how, 
Because the only people that actually get a check is the woman. The woman get a check and she's fucking like 20 dudes getting money from it. each one of they dumb asses. Each one of them in love with the dumb hoe. That's what's wrong with you men. You men are so quick to fall in love with a goddamn hoe. Bunch of faggots, man. Right. Executive Order 11002. Designate the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. That's a draft. Yeah, draft. Well, oh, yeah. They, yeah. They, they had a draft for the most of the country's history. That, that's going to surprise the shit out, y'all. When you're getting drafted and you got to go join the military, and you've seen your little homies come back home in a body bag. They think the draft, they don't, they won't bring a draft. Oh, they're going to bring, it's on, hold up. They, yeah, they think that's never going to happen. There's never going to be a draft. Motherfucker, there was a draft. There was always a draft up until just till recently. They just recently stopped doing it. What do you think the government going to do when they go into Syria and Iran, man? They going to need a draft, then. When y'all fighting, uh, <laughs> when you fighting a billion man Chinese army, you going to need a draft. <laughs> The Iranians got a big ass army. Yeah, the Iranians got a million man army. Yeah, yeah. They army's big as fuck. That's right. And they flexing their muscles right now too. Bold as fuck too. Bold, don't they, they got some raggedy ass ships. They don't give a fuck. Okay. You know, they don't even give a fuck, bro. Because you can see a lot of these countries just acting out of desperation because they're they tired of living like this too, man. Right. You know what I mean? So you're going to have all kind of underdogs coming up. And they're going to get their shots in, man. It's gonna be like someone getting jumped. You ever see someone getting jumped? Mm -hmm. Everybody getting they up, they say, I got, they be like, after it's all done, like, I got a couple in, you ain't yeah, see me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Executive oh, order 11003 allows government to take over all airports and aircraft, including a commercial aircraft. 11004 allows housing and finance authorities to relocate communities. Relocate communities. <laughs> Build new housing with uh, publications for, pop for the population. They already doing that. Mm -hmm. Allows government, okay, 11005 allows government to take over all railroads, inland waterways, and did public that. storage facilities. They been, what well, the government controls all the railroads, controls all the what? The goddamn corporates, the corporations control the fucking government. The America's capitalist. It's a capitalist nation. And, and every last senator and congressman owns a business, part of a business. Well, used to be a part of it, pretending like he's no longer with that company no more while he's in Congress. And they're all getting paid off, man. All the judges are paid off. All the senators are paid off. They all getting paid. If y'all want to look up this, you can read it on yourself on the, uh, under National Defense Resource Preparedness Act. It's an executive and that's order. That's old, too, right? From the 60s. I think yeah. that's John F. Kennedy yeah. wrote those. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but they, re they revised it. Oh, they um, revised it? When, um, when, um, Bush was in office. Well, no, uh, Clinton was in office. Oh, yeah. Clinton. Gotta revise them. They don't even need no damn order. They do what the hell they want, man. Right. And that's what they got on paper. Just just man. think about the evil shit they're gonna do that's not on, that would never dare to be put on paper. Yeah, when Clinton was in office, they went back and they was fine-tuning that shit, man. Yeah, Clinton, he's, he's a damn devil, man. Clinton People try time. to say Bill Clinton was the first black president. Oh, yeah, goddamn fool. That's, that's, you know how stupid you sound that's saying that shit? Red as fuck, too. Red as a motherfucker, man. You see that nose he got, man? That's not a, that's not an Israelite man. That's some heathen shit. Red as a motherfucker. You probably a goddamn Turk. They say you Rothschild. Oh, Rothschild? Probably. They all the same people. The Turks, the Jews, Edomites. They all Edomites. Just, yeah, just like uh, like I said, uh, what's that dude? The president, Harry Truman. Harry Truman was wearing a fez hat, just like the Ottoman Turks wore. You seen that shit he was wearing? The, the, like the shrine. He was a Freemason, a Shriner. He he oh, he showed you that he worshipped the devil. He showed you he was a Shriner, wearing the crescent moon on his hat. That's the same shit that the Ottoman Turks wore, and they they, they was a bunch of damn devils too. Now Ottoman Turks, they the ones who sacked Constantinople, which was pretty much at that time the holy city, you know what I'm saying? And then they captured uh, the, the main temple over there, the, 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 the main uh, Christian Israelite temple, the Hagia Sophia, and they turned it into a goddamn mosque. But, but the, ask the average person, they don't even know what Constantinople is. They ain't got a fucking clue. They have no idea. And at one time it was the capital of, of our nation, you know what I mean? 
the, the, the holy road, whatever you want to call it, okay? Yeah, it was, it, they considered it to be the new Jerusalem. That, that was the capital, okay? During, during the so-called Christian era, during the so-called dark ages or whatever you want to call it, Constantinople was the capital of the world, okay? It was the capital, it was the richest city in the world. And that was until them goddamn Turks who were Edomites came through and destroyed it. Fucking faggots. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their deserts. <laughs> So y'all got it coming, man. What else you gonna get? Hold on. Fuck. Man. Yeah, that's it. Revelation 18 to 6. What was that? You just read Revelation? No. Nah. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, that didn't sound like Revelation. Re uh, Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Oh, and that, double unto her double. Oh, I just said that backs up what we said about torture. If these devils are down there torturing people, they spying on people. Every last person that uses an electronic device is getting spied on. Even if you don't, they got cameras on every goddamn corner, man. So y'all y'all want to put everybody in slavery? Because America's pretty much like an a open-air concentration camp already. You know what I mean? Oh, it pretty much is. If you want to leave the country, you got to get permission. So you got back child support, you ain't going nowhere. You can't get a passport for me. If you want to get on a plane, they got to search you. Just like a prison. Got a you, 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 they search your ass when you in prison, okay? Finger fucking your wife and shit while you're there for Right, they stick their finger up your asshole, stick their finger up your wife's pussy. They, they, they do it to your babies too. <coughs> and then they got the screeners, they look on the x-ray machines, they can see all your private parts. Jacking on that. off and shit. And they, and they save pictures and stills right. up. They did they taking snapshots with their iPhone. And they continue to catch them in the private rooms jacking off and shit. Yep. Watching them screens playing with the fucking themselves and shit. Like, oh, look how big his dick is. Fucking perverts. Fucking goddamn perverts. Yeah, because a lot of them dudes are faggots, man. They like right. filling dudes up. They fill your dick. Uh -huh. Like a lot of the cops, they always make sure they grab your nuts or something, man. A bunch of faggots. faggots. Well, you got to be a faggot to begin with to become a cop. Something's wrong, something's wrong with your brain, man. Some, something was wrong with your whole spirit. It, how could, I don't see what, what kind of person becomes a cop, man. A goddamn uh, piece of shit. That's you who. You see the foul spirit in it. Yeah. I mean, that's the last thing I ever thought. I, when I was growing up, they always, what you want to be when you grow up? I never said a cop. I was scared of cops when I was a kid. I always thought they were the enemy. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Right, like all these heathen nations, America terrorizes. They gonna get their payback, man. And Israel definitely, we definitely gonna get our revenge, okay? Israel definitely, we definitely gonna get our revenge. Isaiah 51 and 22. Thus said the Lord, the Lord and thy God. Isaiah 51 and 22. Thus said the Lord, the Lord and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people. So, that, oh yeah. The Lord pleads the cause of his people. His people is Israel. Okay? Yashur Allah. That's in the Hebrew. Keep going. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Yeah, the dregs of the cup. Like when you drinking something, you get out to the bottom of your drink. You don't want to drink that. That's all nasty and shit. That's that dregs. Keep going. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict yeah, I thee. Told them to yeah, so the, y'all that afflict us, you gonna get afflicted twice, twice as worse. Which have said to thy soul, like the child support, what kind of, man, you, you can't even, if you have a rat, first of all, if you, you lucky to have a job to begin with, okay? But then if you do get a job, you ain't getting paid shit. How much you getting paid a week? $300 maybe? And then if you got one of these adulterous whores, they'll claim child support on you. And then they take all your money and then you left with like uh, $50 or $75. What the fuck you gonna do with that? 
you can't you can't even pay goddamn rent with that, man. They, they actually, this system is designed so that you, they they make sure they make sure that after you get your check, you ain't got nothing left. It's designed that way. It's just like that movie with Justin Timberlake in time when when they showed you uh, how they kept raising the rates. Like they could Obama trying to raise minimum wage. Doesn't matter. They gonna raise minimum wage. Guess what happens when that happens? They gonna raise, raise the prices on everything. Just cause you get now getting paid ten dollars an hour, that don't mean shit. Now your milk costs five dollars. They gonna make sure you stay poor. This is a system. It is designed to make you fucking broke. It's designed to crush you. Okay. And trust me, there ain't nobody gonna escape out the ghetto. Okay. They make sure. The only the, the ones they want to escape escape if they can use you in a way they want to you know to you they they going just like in that movie they you the uh the time cop the guy who was uh, keeping everybody's time he was like the police officer in that movie at the end of the movie the dude asked him timberlake he said oh you from the hood pretty much he said yeah. you from here too ain't you yeah 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 and it, it's the same people just from the hood just want to keep your ass in the hood man that they embrace this shit. They, you know what I'm saying? It's like your boy Steven on Django. That's the same. That's the same. The, the same mind state a lot of these fools had, man. The Uncle Tom. There's a goddamn Uncle Tom. That's the only way to say it. Oh, go ahead. You got more than that. Isaiah 51, 23. Like you got a lot of a lot of these people. They claim they would be rappers. They cannot wait. For the chance to sell their soul to the devil to get a record deal. And they all on YouTube, they all know about the Illuminati. In the hood, a lot of you, they know about the Illuminati and Lil Wayne and Jay-Z. Motherfuckers is on, they on top of their rap shit, trust me. And they know all about Jay-Z and the Illuminati. But these motherfuckers, in the back of their mind, they really think, I'm gonna get that deal, I'm gonna be part of the Illuminati, I'm gonna get this money. They really think they gonna do that, man. And they, and they, and they just pray, and they praying, and they, Hoping and wishing for the day that they can sell the fuck out, man. I hate this fucking place. I, I wish death on all these people. Anybody to come in, I don't know to every last person. I wish death on all the enemies of the most high, man. I wish death, man. I'll go ahead and read the rest Isaiah 51, 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid the body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Hey, that's the point. You think that's what you're gonna bring out? Hey, let's get that Peter before we get out of here. You wanna get that Peter? That's what she said. <laughs> Y'all know your, are your feet frozen, dude? Fuck yeah. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know where it's at? Is it the second period? Yeah. Yeah, that's the easy way to remember that. Uh, we had 350. Something like that. Yeah. What's up, man? You like America? You love America? You don't even speak goddamn English, dude. Nigga writes in hieroglyphs. That's what Chinese is fucking goddamn hieroglyphs. Man, fuck, gotta make a thousand strokes just to spell a word. I'm drawing a picture, of writing words. Look at man. Because yeah, really, you can read the whole chapter, but. The Lord is not slack. Yeah, that's good. As long as you get to the part where we're talking about the fire. Yeah. Yeah, second, you're right. It is right. You're right. Second right Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. What's the Lord's promise? The promise that the Lord made to Israel. Because Israel is the, the Lord's holy people. The chosen people. Okay? Keep going. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. Yeah, right. People always talk shit. They love to talk shit. Jesus ain't never coming back. It God, it God don't exist. They, uh, Richard Dawkins got a book out called The God Delusion. He be making antichrist tweets on Twitter and people be retweeting him like, oh, you have so much knowledge. 
They give devil, they praise the devil worshiper in America, man. And they laugh at somebody doing what we do. Keep going. But as long as suffering to us more, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yeah, the day of the Lord gonna come like a thief in the night. While you are home playing some goddamn Madden, while you in your uh, 60th hour Madden, your franchise mode, you gonna get hit by a goddamn missile right through your fucking window, man. A fucking icy beam just gonna come right in your house and just blow your ass up. Either that or you never know what can happen, man. The Lord, the Lord will take you out. Like you said, someone drove a, uh, a car through the apartment building. Yeah. You could be sitting there chilling at home and semi truck will bust through the goddamn wall like the Kool-Aid man and run your ass over. <laughs> but this is really talking about the missiles though. This is talking about Armageddon right here. So read that again. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the... And this is talking about the day of the Lord, which the day of the Lord is when the Lord returns to the earth, when he comes out the sky in them chariots. The chariots of fire. And the chariots, they gonna spew fire on your asses too, man. Keep going. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The heavens shall pass, that's talking about that fire. That thermonuclear fire. Keep going. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's asking for them goddamn missiles. And the earth also Everything is so fucking funny when you go in there. Snickering. Snickering. <laughs> they gonna be laughing and snickering yeah, when, when we bust them in that goddamn head. I'm gonna hit your ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a big ass mace and bust their ass in a goddamn head. Say, if we want, say, we lucky with spiritual people. You got a lot of crazy cults out there. They hate this world so much that they be getting machine guns and shit to start shooting people. Mm -hmm. So we ain't doing that, man. We ain't on that shit. But, but trust me, when the, soon the time's gonna come, the Lord is gonna give us actual spiritual power, and then we gonna be killing motherfuckers, man. Keep going. Just like he gave David power. Just like he gave Joshua power. All right, keep going. We're in the heavens being on fire shall be. How do the heavens get on fire? How does that happen? How do you catch the heavens on fire? Watch, watch a video of some nuclear bombs being detonated, okay? That's how the heavens get on fire. A thermonuclear fire. That's your hell, that's hellfire. You wanna know about hellfire? <laughs> hellfire is some goddamn <laughs> missiles. Okay, when that third world war breaks out and everybody starts shooting goddamn missiles on each other, that's what's happening. It's been building up ever since the end of World War II. What do you think the Cold War is all about? The Cold War is all about, they would, Russia and America, they were scared who was going to shoot the nukes first. But that sooner or later, they know someone's going to shoot them first. Just a matter of fucking time. And them nukes is going to get shot. Ain't no stopping them. You ain't going to turn away a single nuke. Ain't no, once some nukes is in the sky, they coming. Ain't no stopping them. Keep going. In the west the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. A great noise. The heavens are gonna be on fire, and it's gonna be a great noise. What the fuck do you think that is? That's those missiles. Keep going. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. This is all gonna be, we've been saying that all day, y'all gonna get burnt the fuck. If you ain't right with the most high, because if you ain't right, you better get right with the most high. Otherwise, you're going to get burned up. That's all you're going to get. You're going to get disintegrated. There ain't going to be shit left. All this whole goddamn nation, all these buildings that they spent so much time building and put so much effort into, is all going to be gone within seconds. It's going to be turning to ash. Like, it's going to be melted. <laughs> it, it, people's going to melt. Before we get out of here, give me Zachariah. Uh, Zachariah. Uh, I'll get it. Here, you keep reading that. Oh, I'll get it. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? Yeah, if you know this is coming, how are you supposed to act? Keep going. 
are ye to be in all holy conversation holy and godliness. Holy conversation, that's talking about truth, okay? That's what we're doing. That's talking about football. Holy conversation ain't sitting around all day talking about rapping and talking about goddamn football and basketball and all this other childish ass bullshit. Talking about, oh, that was a good movie. You see that movie last night? Oh, that's a good movie. Oh, he's my favorite actor. That's my favorite director. That's my favorite football player. That's all you motherfuckers talk about. You goddamn idiots, man. Here, let me read this. We'll wrap it up on this one. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague where if the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. But Jerusalem is synonymous with Israel. Okay, and Zion. The Zion and Jerusalem, that's the Lord's holy hill. That's the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites. The people on his son. Like I said, it's a people before it's a place. So anybody that come up against us, man, and afflicting our people, hey, they're going to get destroyed. Even two-thirds two of our own people going to die. And this shall be the plague where the Lord will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. <laughs> and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's that Sarah, that's that Sarah Connor. Uh, that's Sarah Connor script. Yeah, that's Sarah Connor script. Like only, he's hot, only an intense <laughs> level of radiation <laughs> could do that shit. Because he said, yeah. while he's reading that Peter, that's why I brought it out, because when that Peter, Sarah wait, 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 was that Peter that said, <laughs> The elements shall melt, shall melt, just like Malachi. Say the same thing as Malachi. Like, what, what do you think happens with human flesh? When it gets hot, it's going to melt. So y'all actually, gonna, when the missiles hit and that great fire consumes everything, your, your skin is actually going to melt off your goddamn bones. You're going to see it happen for that split second that it takes place. And you, it, yeah, like you gonna melt like your tongue. Like I said, your tongue gonna melt away in your mouth. Your eyeballs are gonna melt, and then then you, then, then after that happens, your, your your skeleton is just gonna be uh, disintegrated, and then you just gonna yes. be gone, gone. And <laughs> you just like goddamn. Nobody gonna remember your ass either, man. I like. I hold on. I'll leave it on a loud quote the scripture, because that scripture says. It said the world, it said that this world shall pass away, but the words of the Lord would never pass away. So y'all motherfuckers, y'all gonna get melted and disintegrated by these missiles, but the Lord's word is still gonna be here. So you can go ahead, that's a wrap. We got Captain and Captain.